so but see we are doing is lot of customers started their digital transformation journey and they are at different levels so you know term digital transformation stands differently from qualified customers so there are customers who are with short as a customer who are still not having uh, you know digitized workflows so they are running a lot of process manually so the customers who are at the early stage their challenges are basically how to have workflow based solutions so that different processes can be you know automated and again we capture digital there are customers who are mature they are having digitized workflow their digital digital journey is different so they are trying to you know uh derive insights from data yeah. mm-hmm. and utilize data for different decision making so you know there are different set of customers while we are interacting with customers we are seeing at what stage they are and then if somebody is at early stage so for them initially automating their workflows processes are important at the same time setting up the environment where the right set of data is captured so that it helps them uh, in later in different decision making so you know so we are working with customers in their digital or digitization journey and at the same time uh, creating infrastructure at platform where data could be captured and automating and providing data driven insights to them so that they can take a decision so example like uh, there is area where we can directly help so if what most of the industry is cost sensitive so giving them where they are spending what are the levers available where they can optimize mm-hmm. uh secondly like uh, companies who are running operations so uh, greatest uh, uh, thing what we are saying like there is a very minimal visibility available like how operation is working so first challenge is providing all the visibility and then second step is like giving them insights like what are the levers available where they can optimize yeah. and then further down the line when when data is matured enough mm-hmm. then giving uh, them solutions which have a predictable views where they can see uh, whatever they are running uh, and based on their pipelines uh, what are the areas where they can focus what are the area where they can optimize both for efficiency as well as business and also in total like uh, seeing their maturity level mm-hmm. there are different set of initiative we are offering to us towards in their digital uh, company needs to uh, have a proper strategy around that and they know uh, getting data and having quality data and so uh, there is a lot of things initially it to be setted up process wise and then the platform is required where uh, you can you can hold the data and you can process it so there is a lot of buzz on ai ml and everything but unless you have a right data in place but garbage in will give a garbage out there so sir having a proper data strategy is very important and then for that generally you need to finalize a platform where you you get data because companies are running and that data is dear in silos in different applications yeah. major difficulty is how to get data and even if you are having data uh, if it is not properly correlated and generally companies uh, are not having master data as the kind of management so correlating data is most difficult from hand uh, without correlation deriving insights is very difficult so i think having a right strategy where you can get data and that data governance is very important so post getting data is is a journey you, it is not like you start thinking uh, one day suddenly and you'll have all the things it's so very to have right processes like right governance and many times lot of key data is not captured at source site so for example let's say you are not capturing the location of your guest hmm. initially it looks uh, very this wall data hmm. but let's say you are deciding uh, to put something for your customer hmm. so location is a very important field where you can profile exactly. so if their phone numbers are not there or emails are not there and you are running a cs campaign so although that data is there but in the process if you are not capturing or if it is lying somewhere so it is not getting given like so having right set of data what is spot errors and then posting them and managing them is very difficult so organizations should have their strategy to have data and once data is there then all uh, whether it is a descriptive analytics or futuristic analytics 
all those uh, algorithms are available in those models for you create mm -hmm. which which serves as a decision support system for different functions whether it is a procurement function or sales function or logistic function mm -hmm. capturing the data organizing that and having all required compute and storage and enable so that uh, you know you can build those models and integrate with your function so that decision makers have those insights there's no fun organizing data mm. pass there is two part one is oc thing making sure quality is right on a continual basis mm. and then building uh, uh, you know services which start helping these functions because uh, you know once these functions start seeing value in those analysis adoption is coming so biggest challenge is like you create solution app if it is not adopted Mm -hmm. then no data accuracy is not also improving so this is a chicken neck situation where you need to uh, manage it out uh, that's very key key a uh, key question because you know whatever you create mm -hmm. initial hesitant is like this is human nature like if you are using something you are good at you don't want to change uh, I, i can give you example like in our factories a lot of things initially happening while well, the ppt and in our app uh, we created a big solution but nobody was using yeah then we realized like we'll do all the morning meeting shift and meeting on dashboards running live okay. that was a initially there was a hesitance but mm. you know once we started doing that because of defect 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 uh, said that and then you see like everybody start looking on the kbi because they start there is a question around that sir and then it adoption is automatic so from top management if you start reviewing through these tools of course initially there would be some hiccups and those things mm. but learning is if you start it is if it is started from top management mm -hmm. and they start using it down the line everybody start looking into it data gets corrected and things get systematic line so it's a very important it needs to be driven from the top and the option will be there very so if you technology there are variety of technologies available and mm -hmm. there are pluses and minuses so and there is a cost factor also yeah available and it also depends on how much what is your size and what you need, need to end up mm -hmm. but seeing the other kind of scalability is coming uh what we are seeing like uh, uh when they move the cloud uh based solution is required for your data management because on prem solution whatever you buy today yeah is not sufficient for to work and with the options like pay as you go or a flexibility is there so uh, uh company need to have a right set of technology for their data management and then of course like because there is a business and intelligence solutions where you is done your reporting dashboard it you need to select one which is suitable in your uh, your domain and uh, based on the market uh, uh feedbacks right. and then of course you need to have a platform where you can build your models or adopt a platform where you hard data you can basically uh train your models and connect it to your your other systems because having something separately running is not good yeah so all those uh, outcomes and uh, results from these models and bi should be integrated with their uh, regular systems so well, if i am a decision maker i should get all those information in line then it is helpful rather than so that way i think companies should if there is a lot of options available so, and it depends on size to size uh, some keep and if you see like most of the cloud these kind of technologies are there in a better business situation you need to adopt a strong data platform and uh, your reporting uh, uh data science tools to vcd or air every of course there's a cost of ownership involved that needs to be taken into it for more updates from cxo tv please like and subscribe to our channel